Hi, this is Austin. Today I would like to share how to express sine square x in MacRolling series. Okay, first we let fx be sine square x. Okay, what we want here is to substitute x equal to 0. So, so at point 0, Sine 0 is 0. Okay, after 0, we have 1. So 1 is the first order, means that the first derivative. So we differentiate f with respect to x. So power we bring down and power loss 1. So we have 2 minus 1, which is 1. So left sine x. Then we differentiate sine, we have cos. So this is 2 sine x cos x. Okay, if let's say we have to differentiate this again, then we have to apply product rule. Then it might make our differentiation become complicated okay, for the following derivative. So what we do here is we can apply identity. So 2 sine x cos x, we have sine 2 x. So at point 0, sine 0 is 0. Then we differentiate again with respect to x. Differentiate sine, we have cos. So cos 2x. Okay, then remember to differentiate the function 2x. Differentiate 2x, we have 2. Then we substitute 0. Okay, cos 0 is equal to 1. So 1 times 2 is equal to 2. Then we continue to differentiate for the third time. So differentiate cos is negative sign. Okay, so we have 2x. When we differentiate, we have 2. 2 times 2, we have 4. So we substitute again. Sine 0 is 0. 0 times 4 still 0. Okay, then we differentiate with respect to x for the fourth time. So differentiate sine is cos. Cos with negative, so we have negative cos here. Differentiate 2x, we obtain 2 times 4, we have. So substitute 0 again. So when we substitute, cos 0 is 1. 1 times negative, so we have negative 1 here. Negative 1 times 8, so we have negative 8. Then we continue to differentiate. So for the fifth time, Differentiate cos is negative sign. Negative, negative become positive. So sign 2x, differentiate 2x, we have 2 times 8, we have 16. So substitute 0, we have 0. Sign 0 is 0. Then f, we get the function, differentiate for the sixth time. Differentiate sign is cos. Differentiate 2x, we have 2 times 16, we have 32. So we substitute, we obtain 32. Okay, we already obtained 3 non zero terms, so we can write the series. Okay, the general form of a MacRolling series is this. So when n equal to 0, means that the original function, so fx is equal to sine square x and this is equal to okay the original function when we substitute is 0 so 0 times x to the power of 0 over 0 factorial okay 0 times anything also 0 so we can just write 0 and plus after 0 is 1 so the first derivative also 0 so plus 0 plus after 1 is 2 so the second derivative is 2. 
So 2 times s to the power 2 over 2 factorial. Then we plus, okay, after 2 is 3. So 3 again, 0. Plus, after 3 is 4. So the 4 is negative 8. So we times s to the power 4 over 4 factorial. Okay, then we plus, after 4 is 5. So the 5th derivative again, 0, plus the 6th derivative, 32. Then we times x to the power of 6 over 6 factorial. So we have 0 plus 0, 0. Then 2 over 2 factorial is 1. So 1 times x squared, we have x squared. Then plus minus, we have negative 8 over 4 factorial. And we have 1 over 3, x to the power of 4. Then plus 32 over 6, we have 2 over 45. Then we times x to the power of 6. Okay, remember, McRollin series is infinite. So we have to plus, okay, dot, 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 to indicate it's not stopping. Okay, then we're done. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.